sorry guys if you're listening i i know that sometimes even just talking about race can rub people up the wrong way but it's just something that's unavoidable even a few weeks ago someone dm'd me on kctv someone dm'd me and said stop talking about lecrae stop talking about lecrae because he's pro pro black and it's damaging the person said as i usually follow this page i was recently made aware that you support and endorse the rapper lecrae Unfortunately, I will not be following this page any further as I feel it promotes division in America and the Christian community with his hateful pro-black power rhetoric. Myself and most of my family, who were fans of Lecrae, stopped following him when his message was centered around racism and such. I am happy to show you his album covers and point you in his personal videos. We are a law-abiding family with law enforcement and military ties and do not appreciate gestures that are directed towards us as people. I'm obviously one person, so it doesn't matter. I'm sure, but the evidence in his character is there. I appreciate your time. Then he, would, then he goes on to say, would the black power fist offend you the same as any other supremacy item? You see guys, this is why we need to have a conversation about race in CHH. And I'm not talking about within the music, I'm talking about within just us, us sitting down and having a conversation. You know, different people, different colors, different people, races, just sitting down having a conversation about race and what affects us. Because some people just don't understand. Some people don't really know. The only reason why black people are kind of having this kind of black pride, this kind of black empowerment thing right now, is because we've never really had that before. For hundreds of years in the West, most black people in the West, they haven't been proud to be black. I know you guys have probably heard of colorism. People, Some people are afraid to be a darker black. Some people want to be a lighter black. It's a thing and that's all this arises from slavery. There's black people who want to have straighter noses, straight hair, look fairer. I've even heard some cases in the workplace where black women are told that their natural hair that comes out of their head looks unprofessional. It doesn't look professional enough. You have to put on a weave, you have to put on a, a wig and these are a weave with straight hair or wig with straight hair or perm your hair, which isn't good for your hair at all. It actually damages your hair because you're, all you're doing is putting in chemicals. So things like that, for, so throughout history, black people haven't actually had anything to be proud of until now. And when you hear people like Lecrae saying black power or black pride or black excellence or anything like that, it isn't to say that you, um, white people aren't excellent, white people aren't um, great or anything. It's just something to say it's about time guys that black people can be proud stop being stop looking down on yourselves because i've even met people who didn't even want to be black i met people who didn't like to be black because they they want they just want to be white i've had people like that and there's that's happened all throughout the world mostly because of colonization all these things um have happened and that's why i honestly think that we need to have conversations about racial issues because we need to come to some sort of understanding. And I, I believe in CHH, <clears throat> there are fans who aren't connected to the issues that black people go through or people of color go through. And I'm not trying to be this liberal guy, if you're listening, I'm not trying to jump on this liberal wave or whatever. I'm just speaking from my heart and my own experiences. And if you guys wanna judge me on that, judge me. But I'm being honest. I've had my own experiences. Um, even the guy that I had the conversation with, he was asking me, what what situations have black people been through because i am poor i'm not rich i'm not well off it's hard it's hard for me and when we're talking about racial issues we're not talking about wealth we're not talking about that we're talking about issues where you've been selected to go through a certain issue based on your color i'll give an example um i'm driving with my sister and my sister is in the drive she's in the driver's seat i'm in the passenger seat uh, a cop car comes up lights go on, pulls us over. And instead of the cop going to my sister, he goes to me and he starts asking me questions. Now, bear in mind, I'm like, what? I think I'm 20 at the time. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a short guy. I think I was, what, six foot or something around there. I'm six foot one or six foot two. I'm not sure if I was the same height I was now, but I was much slimmer, that's for sure. But anyway, he starts asking me questions. And he's asking me, and bear in mind, I'm in the passenger seat. He's asking me, where's my ID? Who am I? Where am I going? trying to ask me questions and trying to get me to give him my information. Bear in mind, I'm not driving. I'm not driving at all, I'm just in the passenger seat. It's my sister who's driving, so if he's pulling anyone over, it should be asking my sister questions. But he's not asking my sister questions, he's asking me. 
and my sister's like don't don't answer him don't give him your id and now i'm a 20 year old thinking what do you mean don't give him don't give him your id i don't want to be arrested i'm is she crazy it's like you don't have to give him your id why is he asking you for information i'm in the passenger seat i, sh I don't have to do anything it should be her who gives um, him it should be her who gives her it should be her who gives him the id and information because she's responsible she's the one who's driving and it's only from that moment i was like that is true and i didn't even this is my first experience of that sort of racism you know i've been called the n-word and all that stuff um so I, I know all that stuff but it's this type of type of racism that isn't in your face but you kind of can see it happen you can see it you can see it's there um and it's just little things like that you know little little moments like that or you know walking past a woman and she clutches a bag tightly or whatever or it's just little things so i honestly think we need to have more conversations about race within chh because it's just an issue that most people are denying and i'm not talking about black people i'm talking about mostly obviously um people aren't black i don't want to say white because it just if i say white or if people just kind of get offended for some reason i don't know why but anyway people we need to have more conversations on this just to understand and stop hating each other and just come to an understanding the understanding of what i go through or what you go through you know you don't i'm not asking you to necessarily argue with me and just start saying i'm lying or i go through nothing i just i want to have a conversation with you to try and get you to understand i've had people say, to say to me slavery was so long ago stop stop talking about it move on get over slavery but you don't understand how much slavery still affects us today. I have, you know, through generations, you know, people are affected. The same thing that, you know, they went through gets passed on to the children and it affects us in some way, shape or form. You might not be able to pinpoint it out, but it affects us. A direct, a direct effect and how it's affecting us today is that I don't know my lineage. I don't know where I come from. I actually still have a slave master's name, Dinal Grevelis. It's not an African name. It's a slave master's name. And because of that, I don't know where my lineage goes. I only have a, some sort of idea, but because the name was taken from me, I, I, I can't trace it. I don't know what my name was before that. It, there's no clue, it's taken from me. So that's how slavery affects us. And if you, that's, and that's a direct effect. That's a direct effect of slavery that I'm still holding, I'm still holding the slave master's name. But guys, this is why I think CHH needs to talk about racism a lot more and have a conversation. I don't talk about in lyrics, I'm talking about sitting down and having a full-blown conversation with each other just to have some sort of understanding. People of all races come together, Asian, black, uh, people from Mexico, wherever, just sitting down and having a conversation. What do you guys think? Do you think CHH needs to have a more open conversation about race where you can't be judged based on your views and come to some sort of understanding? Please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And obviously, if you want to be updated with all our next videos, please click the bell. It's somewhere around here to be updated. You know where the bell is. Also, guys, we set up our Patreon. So please support us. Please help us out. We love to create content like this all the time and keep them keep it pushing, keep it moving. We will put the link in the description. Please support us.